Okay guys, let me say something real quick. We know Xabi Alonso won't be leaving Bayer anytime soon. We made the video just the day before it was announced. So let's use this video like a forecast for the future. Something like, what if? And now, enjoy. Jurgen Klopp and Thomas Tuchel leave their clubs at the end of the season. Liverpool and Bayern are yet to name a replacement, but no matter who they appoint, it will be a huge story. That's right. And one name they'll be getting for is Xabi Alonso. And the interest is mutual. So why not discuss where the most desired coach in Europe has to go? Well, to me, Liverpool makes the most sense because I really like this option too. Sorry for being rude. But I'll try to be more cynical and say that it would make more sense to go to Bayern. Come on, you can't be serious. Well, I am and I'll prove it today. Let's see. Xabi Alonso should choose Bayern and the first reason is resources. The team never lacks transfer funds and the financial fair play is not an issue. Every season, Bayern can afford the likes of Harry Kane, Sadio Mane, Matthias De Ligt. And as cynical as it sounds, Bayern Munich can buy the entire Bayer Leverkusen squad for Alonso. And unlike Liverpool, Bayern have one of the best medical departments in the world, so Alonso won't have to worry about yet another injury crisis. Alonso should go to Liverpool, and the first reason is motivation. With eight games to go in the league, Bayern are 10 points ahead of Bayern, having broken the Bundesliga record for the most unbeaten games. Even if he repeats the trick at Bayern, it just won't be as cool. The true challenge lies with Liverpool. By the way, don't forget, the Reds are also the only team where Alonso played, but didn't win the league, so he still has some unfinished business. The second reason is the timing. It is about time to go to Liverpool. Taking over from a club legend is a difficult task. Just remember what happened at Man United after Sir Alex Ferguson left. Alonso would be scrutinized for every result and compared to Klopp. Who knows if top players like Salah, Van Dijk and Trent asked to leave too, and the hectic Premier League schedule might stop the Spaniard from implementing his ideas. The second reason is a young but hyper-talented squad. The likes of Harvey Elliott, Curtis Jones and Connor Bradley are ready for the first team, while players like Darwin Nunez or Dominic Soboslai aren't yet 25. It's a squad of high quality, but not yet fully established stars, the type of players Alonso has at Bayer. They are used to following the coach's instructions, and there is always a great atmosphere at Anfield. As for Bayern, there is a reason why it's called FC Hollywood. The third reason is this. A dominant club needs a dominant coach. Bayern Munich is a juggernaut domestically, though it hasn't been the case as of late. Neither results nor the play style suit Bayern. But if anyone, Alonso is capable of bringing back proactive football to the team. His Bayern are one of the best in Europe for possession and short passes completed. What's more, unlike Nagelsmann and Tuchel, Alonso is not toxic at all. Finally, he also knows the club inside out, having played there over 100 games. The third reason is that Liverpool are ready to wait. At Bayern, if you don't reach the Champions League semi-finals, the fans and media are asking for the coach's hand. At Liverpool, the expectations are high, but not ridiculous. In his early seasons, Klopp was far from competing for the league, and by the end of his reign, the Reds have lost a number of cup finals. And yet Klopp was never considered to be fired. The Liverpool management values a long-term project, so Alonso won't have to fear for his future. The fourth reason is the potential of the squad. We enjoy what players like Verd, Frimpong, Tipsoba, Grimaldo have become under Alonso. Now, imagine what Xabi can do at Bayern, where there's a world-class player in every line. Bayern already have a strong spine in Noya, Kim, Kimik and Kane, who's far ahead of everybody else in the Golden Shoe race. Unlike at Liverpool, Alonso will have a team that's among the top favorites to win the Champions League right here, right now. The fourth reason is tactics. Alonso's buyer are the best in Europe at counter-pressing. The fullbacks play very high up and have insane stats for goal contributions. Leverkusen controls space so well, it often seems they have more players on the field than the opponent. Does it sound familiar? Of course, it's all very similar to Liverpool, but Alonso can further enhance Liverpool's play style by adding a layer of positional play, something the Reds struggle with. With Alonso at the helm, Liverpool won't just be scary on counter-attacks. Last but not least is the gradual development. Alonso has only had one full season at this level. Right now, he needs to play it safe and reinforce his status as a top coach. If it doesn't work out in the challenging Premier League, his career could go south. There's no better place than Bayern and the familiar Bundesliga for his development right now. 
Even in the crisis, the club is second in the league and given the level of competition in Germany, Alonso can take time to experiment. And the fifth reason is the Premier League. Moving to the best league in the world will pit Alonso against the strongest coaches in the world, the likes of Pep Guardiola, Mikel Arteta or Andrzej Postecoglou. Games against top opponents every week will put Alonso into the spotlight. I'm sorry to say this, but he can become a great coach competing against Mainz, Bochum and Darmstadt. Now, let's sum it up. What do you say? I say that Alonso must prioritize a steady growth and stay in Bundesliga. The current Bayern team presents a nice challenge and the Spaniard can make them a machine again. If you agree with me, say so in the comments. Machines have no soul though. Xabi should become Klopp's successor and write new fairy tale for Liverpool. He has stopped Bayern's dominance and could do the same to Man City. If you are with me, vote for me in the comments. He still believes in fairy tales. Well, Beating the Neverkusen tag is quite some fairy tale too. See you later.